Welcome back to the channel. So in the last part, we had Little Miss Marigold Bloom Flanagan right here. She's just asleep. Um, and this time, Daisy wasn't totally against having a baby. So it was nowhere near as horrible as it was last time. And we got to try out our new hospital. And we got to try out the um, more realistic birth mod. So that was awesome, too. Um, so yeah, so it's actually almost Marigold's birthday. It's tomorrow. So we're gonna hold a little birthday for her there. Um, we do need to get married. We really need to get them married. However, the only issue with that is I've played through a couple of days since they gave birth. Look at their relationship. <laughs> like, things are not going so well for these guys relationship wise they just every time I have them sit down and try to talk to one another they're just so mean to each other so I don't know maybe we should try like taking them on a date today or something um and rekindle the love because yeah these guys are just they're really not I don't know they're really not getting all along as as well as I'd I'd hope they would um but to be fair, that's been pretty standard. They, ever since, like, they first started seeing each other, there's always kind of been this awkward, like, they're just mean to each other for no reason. So, yeah, I think maybe we should try and take them on a date today or something um, to reconnect and maybe plan a bit of the wedding because they've been engaged for a really long time. We've had two kids, and they're still not married, so... <laughs> Um, we definitely need to get on that. But now it's springtime, the weather will be... Now that it's springtime, the weather will be a lot nicer, so we should be able to um, get married and not freeze in our wedding dress. Um, so Daisy's just at work right now. Tanner is going to go and feed the cow plant and make a flower bouquet thing. Um, and I think I'm just going to have Ivy quickly just work on her homework. Um, and then... Maybe we'll have her play some video games or something as well this evening. Um, let's see what her stats are like. It's not too bad. Where are you going? Did you feed the cow plant? Come and feed the cow plant. I love their little living room so much more now. This house is still so empty. Like, I have so much... Oh, we need to make a ton of money because we need to furnish the house a bit better because I'm really sad that, like, the house is still this empty. <laughs> okay, are you feeding him? Her? They? Them? Sorry? Perfect. Now, let's have you bond with the bees and let's farm... Uh, crickets. Well, Dan looks like this household is in compliance with all of the active neighborhood action plans. So it was, it, I just put the bee box down and the insect farm. So it was those two that you needed um, to get the green gardening. So thank you to um, Natasha who pointed that out to me. Um, oh, let's nurture them, see what that is. Bond with the bees again. And then come over here and make your little arrangement. Daisy just reached level 9 of the logic skill. That's awesome because she has to max it out to get her final promotion. She's on level 9 of her career. Yeah. And then what's he at? He's at 8. So he's really close as well. Um, and Ivy is now a, a B student. So that's also really good. We do need to get a couple of her skills up though. So we need to work on that. <clears throat> Um, and other than that, I need to just buy a bunch of seed packets and um, kind of finish planting off the garden. Because um, <clears throat> we're supposed to have a perfect garden, and I feel like I've been slacking on the garden lately. But our life has been so busy having children and stuff constantly, so <laughs> that has not really helped. So Ivy just completed her homework, but she needs to have a shower, so come over here and take a shower. Um, I also, okay, I think I'm gonna have to reset this again with the chickens because it never produces um, hatchable eggs and when it does they're all roosters so we currently just have a whole bunch of roosters 
which is not necessarily ideal. Um, so we might have to just sell all of our chickens and get new ones, in all honesty. And part of Ivy's generation is that she grows up having cats. So I think maybe we need to get adopt a cat for Ivy, um, maybe because she's doing so well in school. And we also need to talk about adopting another child because we said that was the route we were going to go down after um, Andrea, our the daughter that Tanner had with his ex-wife. Um, she just disappeared into the Sim universe. She's just gone. Let's see if there's anything vegetarian that we can serve. Okay, yeah, do... Um, Okay, first let's see, it's probably Bess. Oh, okay, that's weird. Um, that's really weird. Ivy's been home from school for like three or four hours now. In lab, Ivy's science experiment exploded and made a big mess along with frightening another student. We think she did it on purpose. So we can either do academic punishment seems right or no real harm done. I guess we'll do that one just because if she did do it intentionally, that's kind of horrible. Um, so let's have uh, Tanner come over here and serve a faux meat and chips for dinner. And we will have Daisy come and take a shower and then maybe feed the little Babalaroo. And then I think Ivy is just over here playing some chess, getting her mental skill up a little bit. Um, what are her skills like? Not, not great. <laughs> really not that great. So we definitely have a lot to work on there. Oh, I also bought a couple of wind turbines because one of our action plans is clean energy production. So we bought a couple of those. Um, so he just finished making um, dinner. He's gonna call everyone to eat, even though he's not actually hungry right now, but everybody else is hungry, so it's more for them. <laughs> um, I really wanna focus on like furnishing up this area. I wanna complete this bathroom over here. I wanna put in an office and maybe make a bit of a like kids play area right here. Um, we also, now that the weather is nicer, we can maybe get some items out on the patio here, like some loungers, um, maybe a little fire pit for them. They can sit around the fire, like on a Sunday night or something to get their little cute family. Why are we all just standing here? Why are we not sitting at the table or anything? That seems kind of weird. But okay, talk amongst yourselves. Everybody be nice to one another. Um, oh, and in the last part, we also asked Ivy to be our ring bearer. And then we, when Marigold ages up, we will ask her to be the um, flower pal for our wedding. Um, I think we have best being our sim of honor. Um, we do need an officiant still. And I think that's everybody that we need i feel maybe i could be wrong here no 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 no. so i actually might have um ivy or yes ivy and tanner come and play some video games together up here um play multi-game um let's yeah let's do that together and then we'll have Daisy come and deal with the baby because she hasn't seen her daughter all day. Once you guys are finished eating, like you can finish eating, it's fine. And I think that helps with her motor skill. If I'm um, correct, I believe it's the motor skill that that one helps. And then you need to come out here and practice some yoga because we still need to get that skill up as well. Um, I think we're level, almost level eight of the wellness skill. And I think we're about the same for fishing too. Yeah, same thing, almost level eight. So that's really good. Um, the only other one that I need to do, which was an optional task is, no, what is going on? Stop. The game's gonna be over by the time he rejoins. And it is getting her mental skill up. Not her motor, her mental skill, so. So she's just over here practicing yoga beside the bugs, <laughs> which is super nice. Um, why don't you come in here and um, tend the garden afterwards too? I wonder who's gonna win. Oh, 
Oh, and she just reached level eight of the wellness skill. Perfect, that's awesome. And Ivy reached level two of the mental skill. Who won? Oh, uh, oh, look, Ivy won. Yay, Ivy won. Look at her go. She's gonna be our little gamer, I love it. So she's gonna play with that. I'm gonna have him take a shower. Um, and then vacuum up here because it's super dusty. And she's just working on her yoga. We'll have her work on it for a bit longer. Oh, and so I know we want to adopt another child and I think we should adopt a little boy. Um, but I'm curious to know what um, age of a child we should adopt. Should we adopt another baby? Should we adopt a toddler? Or should we just outright adopt a child? Um, I'm not sure. So if, um, if you guys wanna let me know what you think in the comments down below. Um, I'm kind of thinking more of adopting like a child or something. I don't really wanna go through the whole toddler baby route again. I like Daisy has a few more things to focus on before we can finish her, before we can finish her generation. So I think, oh no, is Ivy awake in a bad mood? Oh, she's scared of the lightning. Yeah, I, 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 we have some stuff to still focus on and I think just having another baby is gonna set us back even further. And I just checked the calendar in like two weeks, Tanner's gonna be an elder and just after that, Daisy's gonna be an elder and I wanna be finished before we hit elderhood. So I think we might just adopt a child instead um, just so that we can finish up Daisy's part of the generation. No, you could, oh my God, use the bathroom afterwards and then go downstairs and get some breakfast. And maybe eat it at the table like a normal person. Okay, so Ivy just got home from school again. Um, what should we have her do today? Let's see what this is. Achieve level two of the motor skills. So why don't you come and play on this? Because I know that'll get your motor skill up. And then he's just feeding the baby. He just spent the day tending to the garden and dealing with the animals and everything. And the cow plant needs feeding again, so he's gonna do that. I traded all the other chickens in for simoleons, and now I have a black hen and a brown rooster. So hopefully we'll start to get some hatchable eggs now um, properly, and it won't be weird like it was before. So she's just gonna play on the playground, get her motor skill up a little bit. Okay, so now Daisy is home. We can go ahead and age up the little Babaloo. So we don't have another baby, we just have a toddler. And you know what? I think at the same time, Daisy is gonna call the adoption agency and we are going to look at whether there are any um, cats for us to adopt. Okay, so there are lots of little kitties here for us to adopt. We have Beryl, Bubbles, Mama Kitten, Gus. I have a hamster named Gus, actually, so that's kind of fitting. Rainbow, Pickles, Stanley, Whisper, Senator, or Vern. I, oh, he's a long hair though. He's gonna shed everywhere. Um, ooh, I don't know. Are these all boy kittens too? Seems like they're literally all, oh, these are the only three that are female. Oh no. Should we get a kitten or do we get like an adult cat? That's the other question. I wanna go with Gus. We're gonna go with Gus. <laughs> um, oh, and then you need to actually quickly come and tend to the child. And uh, we need to age up the child. Um, so he finished that. So let's add a purple vase. And then we'll scent it with something. Snapdragon. Let's scent it with Snapdragon and then we'll sell that one. Ivy's doing her homework. Daisy's tending to the baby. And the adoption person should be here soon. Yeah, right here. Okay. Um, I think we actually come and have Ivy come down here and give a friendly introduction. Um, she needs fun, so she's going to go and talk to a plant. That makes a lot of sense, actually. Um, 
sell this one? Why is it doing that? Sense, disrespect, Snapdragon. Okay, interesting. Um, very interesting. Ivy, come say hi to your new little kitty. Aww. And then, I don't know, pet him. Give him a treat. Um, offer your friendship. And then let's adopt him. Look at her. She is such a little animal lover. She's so good. The kitten's going to be all your responsibility, Ivy. So, aww. Aww, this is so sweet. Oh, and they just became friends. Yeah, we're going to adopt Gus. He can keep his name. Yay! Okay, so Ivy just got to adopt a little kitty. Oh, that's so, so, so cute. But honestly, everybody needs to come up here and we need to age up the little baby. Um, so we'll get everybody to come upstairs and then we're going to age up little Miss Ivy into a toddler. And then I think tomorrow night after work, I will get um, Daisy and Tanner to go on a cute little date together. So once everybody's made it upstairs, we will age up the child. Actually, run to the bathroom really quickly. And then we will age up the child in just a second. Let's give him one, or her, sorry, one last little cuddle and a rock, and then we'll age um, Marigold up. I, I'm so all over the place with the names of everybody. I'm already getting so confused. And then in a second here, we're gonna age up little Miss Marigold. If I can get a good angle on it. Okay, and we are now going to age up and don't go to the bathroom. Your daughter is aging up. Also, you don't do anything weird. So here we go, aging up the toddler. Marigold. Wait, where did Marigold go? Um, hello? Okay. I'm going to go into Cass and edit Marigold, and I will show you guys the new and improved CC'd version of Marigold once I am finished. Okay, you guys, so here is little Miss Marigold. These Sims make the cutest children. Look how pretty she is, and the little space buns. Oh my goodness. She also aged up with these like purpley eyes. I don't really know where she got them from, so I left them. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna show you guys her outfits. We have this one for her every day, um, and this one. I love this, um, this set from Simto, Simtographies, I think. <laughs> um, I did two formal wears, so here's one of them. I absolutely adore this little dress, by the way. And then here's the other one. I figured this one would kind of be more for the wedding. Um, we've got some little sleepwear outfits, um, her party outfit, um, a little swimsuit for her, her hot weather and her cold weather. So that's all done for her. She's so freaking cute. I can't handle it at all. Um, I love it. <laughs> um, she is going to need a bedroom though. We are going to need to, to, to put her somewhere to sleep. <laughs> So, um, I might have to just do that off screen. Um, oh, okay, you guys, I am finally back. I added some cat stuff. We have a little bed, a little like play tree, um, some toys. I put a litter box in here. I got us a new dining table. I ran out of money though. <laughs> um, a little food bowl. And then up here is um, Marigold's new room. So this is what her room looks like now. Super cute, just put a bunch of toddler stuff in. I kind of shifted some stuff around to make the room a little bit bigger because it was quite small. Um, and we had a really big hallway for no reason. So um, I just kind of pulled the walls out a little bit there. 
Um, is she now showing up on our screen? Yes! Okay, so she has now appeared. Um, I think, I know I said I was gonna do it. Okay, so I'm just gonna get everybody's needs up. I will see you guys um, probably when the Daisy and Tanner are off work and then we'll go on that cute little date together and then we'll probably end the episode after that. So I will check in with you guys when we are off on our date so i'll see you guys in a second Alrighty, you guys so we are here on the date i just ordered some food for the table um yeah we're just gonna have some little chats um and try to get our relationship up a little bit because i feel like they've been so busy they've been having they've been so busy with having kids for like such a long time now they really haven't had much time to themselves so Let's just line up some really sweet interactions for them um, and get their relationship up a little bit. And we are not having any more children, so I think that will also be another part of the conversation that we include that we are finished having um, children. <laughs> um, we have to have some deep conversations, so I'm just... I can't seem to... Oh, he's attractive. Where did... Is he sitting at a different table? I think he just went and sat at, like, a completely different table. So that's fine. Where is deep conversation? I can't seem to find the deep conversations button. I've probably just, like, gone past it a million times. Okay, thank you. You've come back to sit at our table. <laughs> There is no deep conversation um, interaction right now. I don't know what's going on with that. Oh, what's this? Oh my god. So yeah, I'm just having them talk a whole bunch. We're going to talk about using um, protection again because I don't want them to have any more kids. I don't think Daisy wants to have any more kids. Um, and they are going to adopt, so that's going to be another thing that we can talk about today. Um, is maybe he approaches the subject like, oh, you know. What if we adopted a child? Discuss adopting a child. Discuss putting a child up for adoption. Daisy's like, yeah, both of them. <laughs> Tanner asked Daisy whether she would agree to adopting a child. Tanner wants to look at adoption procedures to expand the family. Um, I think she's going to be on board. Why not? The more the merrier. Okay, so they're going to look into adopting a child now. So um, I'm glad they're on the same page with it. Um, and I think, I think that's a nice little way of having a third child without actually having a third child. And we were technically going to have three kids anyways because Andrea was part of the family. Um, but she just ceased to exist. So she's not part of the family anymore at all. <laughs> And I would love to be able to do these deep conversation interactions, but I, for some reason, can't do that. So, I don't know how good... Oh, okay, they're just being silly. Nobody's been mean to each other yet. I'm like... I'm just controlling every interaction they have, because I am not going to have them be super mean to each other. Um, is there anything we can talk about, um, like, wedding-wise? I wonder. They could gossip about their co-workers. I love that. Wish to be happy in this couple. Let's see what that is. That's kind of like the opposite of the mean interaction that they keep doing to each other, which is like, oh my god, they just became good friends. Okay, that seems like it went well. Okay, so I got her crab legs. They both have red wine. And then he has grilled tofu with honey glazed carrots. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Okay, thank God. I'm like, where Where was he going? We need to discuss the meal. What are you... Oh my goodness gracious me. Eat and drink. And she's drinking, and then discuss the meal with her. Um, oh, okay. Can you not eat this? Where are you going, Tanner? Why is he going downstairs? Where? Where? Why? You had to go all the way downstairs for that? Oh, my.
my god, I hate this game sometimes. And she's apparently a cleft kleptomaniac anytime that she's at a restaurant. She just wants to steal everything. Okay, I need you to come up here and talk about the food. Complain about it, sure. We need three of these interactions, because I can't find the deep conversation button, so... Uh, discuss food flavors. And, oh my god! I would be lying if I said I don't hate this game. It is the most annoying game in the world. Okay, come and like sit here with your food. Talk to your freaking fiance. Talk about the food. So this date doesn't end up being terrible. <laughs> oh my god. This is so annoying. Eat your crab legs. And talk to her about how much you like your food. Okay, here we go. Finally, we're having a little bit of success. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious me. Come on, talk. Oh my god. This is a this is awful. This is not going the way I wanted it to whatsoever. You have wine to drink. Okay, he did one of them. <laughs> it's also like one in the morning. Can we do deep conversations now? Am I just clicking past it? I don't understand. Okay, can you kiss her? Come and kiss your wife. Kiss. We may still have a chance of getting, well, it's silver. We probably won't get it to gold because I can't have deep conversations apparently, but we can kiss. There we go. Yay, kiss your date passionately. That we can also do because we're both in flirty moods. See, what they needed was some time away from their kids and now they're like all lovey-dovey and friendly with each other again. It really was just the toll of having two babies in the house and being pregnant for like a really long time repeatedly. So like, it's fair enough. Okay, the date's gonna end, so could you kiss each other passionately passionately, real quick? There we go. Okay, well, we only got a, a silver date, but that's okay. We got their romance up, and, um, and we got their friendship up, so maybe we could go home and have them woohoo, too. Let's just end the meal, and we're gonna go home. And I am also going to end this part here, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, let me know if you like the idea of ado adopting like a male um, child. Yeah, I really don't think I'm going to go with a baby or a toddler again. So yeah, um, thank you so much for watching, you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you're still enjoying the series. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.